Keratoconus is not an uncommon condition. And basically, this is the, the disease that affecting the front part of the eye, that is the cornea. So the cornea is nice, as you can see, it has a, a nice spherical shape, it's like a dome shape. With keratoconus, the cornea uh, become unstable. That means the cornea starts to become thin and protruding forward. So you get a kind of, we call it a cone shape, that's what they call it, keratoconus, that is a cornea like a cone. The cornea is like a lens in a camera. And if the shape of the lens is distorted, then you expect that the vision to be affected. And therefore, patients with keratoconus will suffer from reduced vision. Keratoconus is usually a progressive condition and affects both eyes. Usually one eye is more advanced or more affected than the other eye. And this is progressive and affects young ages. It's very important to stop disease progression. One of the modalities to slow or stop keratoconus progression is cornea cross-linking. Cornea cross-linking is that exposing the cornea to UV light to allow to change the structure so the, the cornea become tougher and resist any changes. Therefore, the condition become under control. Uh, this is very effective treatment. It's uh, recommended by NICE as a safe and effective treatment for patients with unstable corneas like keratoconus or even those develop ectasia after laser vision correction. We treat a lot of patients with keratoconus. The results usually depends on how advanced is the disease. So success rate is very high in, in moderate diseases, and we could talk about 95% success rate. Those cases where the cornea is very, very distorted, like advanced keratoconus, then you expect the success rate to fall around 80-85%. Still, if the treatment doesn't work, you can redo, repeat the, the uh, cross-linking the cornea, and usually the cornea is stable. If the cornea is very advanced, then the other option would be to have a cornea transplantation. You can think of cornea cross-linking as a way to defer or hopefully delay forever the need for cornea transplantation, but sometimes if the condition is very advanced and the cornea is very distorted or you cannot proceed with the cross-linking, then cornea transplantation is the option here.